All right, we're back recording here. We're recording there. People can watch there. Boom. So the light, boom, I like it. So <laughs> this has been a great chat, but we're going to take a little break to do the lightning round. Now, the lightning okay. round is just 10 questions sent in by the listeners. Thank you so much, listeners. Um, and they're just fun little questions. Everyone knows you have not seen these before. So okay. just top your head, whatever happens. And like, is it quick? Like It's, it's like quickish. Quickish, but it, okay. The secret with the lightning round is it never ends up being that lightning. Like okay, okay. I always get, <laughs> so you say something, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I want to hear more about that. Uh, cool. So we'll start with... Um, one accomplishment, accomplishment you would like to achieve in the next year? In the next year, um, I mean, I'd like to have a successful Toronto run of Blood Over Soil and, yeah. and to get some attention um, about the play elsewhere in the country. Because um, we, yeah, I mean, I so often, I don't know, people will produce a play and then that's kind of the end of it. But too much work has gone into this. And I, I believe in the message so much totally. that I'd like to continue Um um, doing that. And then, yeah, I also want to, um, return to Ukraine and begin working on another project and do a residency there with some v- female veterans. Um, Very cool. Yeah. So that's two. Yeah. I did two. Gosh. God, that's two lightning strikes. Yeah, exactly. Boom, boom. exactly. <laughs> um, one item you would like to have an unlimited supply of money. Money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, oh, that's kind of shallow, but like, I mean, money, like just some security, um, mm-hmm. because, um, if yeah, that's that's a made that's the major obstacle when it comes to like like if I had an unlimited source of money, I could just like write plays and not have to worry about totally. like doing that catering gig and that kind of thing. So well, it's kind of both of your first two questions synced up because it's the exact same thing of like because you want to do all these things with the show and there's so much more to take from it. And really, the biggest things are the exposure and what comes with exposure is the money of of how to do it, how to yeah, make it actually happen. Keep making, but yeah, just like to be the best part. Like it's like 90% producing and 10% art. And we yeah. do it all for that art for that second. You get to be in that yeah. for sure. For sure. Uh, so I have this red plaid shirt. I always bring whenever I go anywhere on contract or traveling. Uh, what's one article of clothing or something you pack every time you go away? My dogs, your dogs. <laughs> Amazing. I have two labradoodles, Archer and Luna. Oh, interesting. Yes. How have they been to travel with? I mean, I'm curious cause I've been thinking like in the near future, like a dog would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, how, what have your experiences been with that? Um, I mean, it's, and it's, labradoodles are also awesome. They are. Yeah. Um, they're, uh, they have to go, um, in the cabin yeah. or, n- or underneath. Um, and so it's, it's a bit of like a hassle to bring them to the airport and they, they don't necessarily like it, but they are, they survive. Yeah. Um, and they've done it before. And so it's, it's, yeah. So it's, it's a thing, but it's doable. Definitely. Um, but my friend Matt, who I've talked about, yes. he has a French bulldog, um, who, uh, is the love of his life <laughs> and, um, she's small enough that she can travel on the plane with him, which oh, cool. makes things a lot less cumbersome. So yeah, I mean, that's, um, I, I, we wanted labradoodles when we yeah. had labradoodles, um, and I love them, but if they were just a little tinier and they could fit under the right seat, that would there, be yeah. amazing. <laughs> are they, are they coming to Toronto? Yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Uh, so what movie do you think needs to be turned into a musical slash play? Ooh. Uh, I, I'm, oh God, I'm just like in such a Ukrainian kick right now, yeah. but the movie um, Everything is Illuminated, I think would be a really beautiful, um, it's a beautiful story. It's Elijah Wood and it's about um, a, a man in, I think from America who travels back to Ukraine um, be, because he's seeking out his um, ancestry, his Jewish mm-hmm. ancestry. And so he um, hires some people who help him and um, their the grandfather's anti-Semitic. And so it, there's like interesting dynamics there. And yeah. it's kind of this like magical realism, um, but also very real uh, traveling through Ukraine. And, and um, but it's a really human, beautiful story of rediscovering his roots and, and um, a history of uh, from World War Two and and anti-Semitism and everything like that. So, wow. Yeah. What was the name of it again? Uh, everything is illuminated. I feel like I've heard. Is it's that Leif Schreiber f- and Elijah say. Wood stars in it, and it? also the guy from Gogol Bordello is in it. Yes, he's amazing. I was just it was Larissa. I was talking to this about. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Did she say the same thing? <laughs> it might be. Larissa's I, also Ukrainian. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say because we did it like last week. I was gonna say I've heard like I was like I've heard that movie before like recently. So oh, maybe it funny. was that. That'd be interesting. You yeah. should collaborate and make that a musical or a play. It'd be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so after time away for work or traveling or whatever it may be, what is the first thing you do when you get home? Oh my God. Uh, just like spend the day in bed watching movies or Netflix with my dogs and husband and a a bottle of wine. Yes. Amazing. Uh, one silly habit you would like to break. Uh, 
um, saying like. Like, yeah. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. Yeah, t- <laughs> that just struck a chord. My uh, Nana listens to all these podcasts oh. and I get a detailed breakdown of them. Nana's. And she's like, stop saying like so much or um so much. Like just, she's very, and it's true. There's, I think it's interesting when you listen to podcasts or something like the people who speak for a living, mm-hmm. they've, they've figured out how to not speak until they've thought consciously through the comment they're going to yeah, make. Yeah, My mom worked as a director of communications professionally. And um, yeah, so anytime I do some sort of media or interview, she's always like, great job. But cool. So yeah. Maybe I won't send her this podcast. <laughs> That's so funny. Hi, mom. You, I, I haven't heard too much. It's been good. Uh, if you could pick one band or artist to make a musical out of their music, what would it be? Um, oh, David Bowie. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ziggy Stardust. Very Has that been cool. done? I feel it must be in the works. I know. It must be somewhere, yeah. though. Yeah. Especially with every... Yeah, it would make so much sense. I did a... Yeah, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is the last series, album, or podcast that you binged? I recently watched The Bodyguard on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, but before that, because I... Uh, not that I didn't like The Bodyguard, but I really liked The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. It so yeah. good it's on amazon prime it's such a good series cool amazon yeah. prime has something it's funny we're living and it, it's definitely been a hot button issue with netflix upping their subscription or whatever it is recently because crave has been killing it and there's some great stuff on amazon prime as well there's yeah. this show man in the high castle mm. which is kind of it's a it's based on a book and the book is based on the idea that world war two went the opposite way. And like North America is occupied by like the, there's the Pacific West coast and then there's like what would be Nazi like America, like in New York oh, and stuff. Wow. And it's amazing. What's it called? It's called man in the high castle. Okay. It's really, really good. I love TV. So I always yeah. need something. I would check it out. If you're on the Amazon prime, I would 100% check it out. Yeah. Hey man. Um, so, uh, what show? Oh, so this is uh, kind of going back to your performing experiences. What is one show you would love another crack at? Mm, mm, you know what? Um, I was involved in a show called cheerleader. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a theater in Edmonton called the Roxy, um, run by theater network. And we were part of the Roxy performance series. And the day before our preview, the theater burned down, <gasps> like to the ground. Oh my God. That's like a classic theater thing to happen to I is know. theaters to burn yeah. down. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really wild. Yeah. Anyway, um, we, so we never actually ended up being able to perform that show. And I, I really liked the show. Yeah. It's um, a local show, but it was about, um, these two cheerleaders and two football players. And it's kind of like a black comedy. Um, but it was about, uh, uh, homosexuality and in, um, high school and in like those types of, uh, yeah. in, in the high school situation, Interesting. But yeah, it was really, it's a good show. I'd love to be able to do that. To, actually, to, to get the crack out <laughs> yeah, of the first time. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so what is the first movie quote that comes to your head? One, two, three, go. Luke, I I'm am your father. father. <laughs> Great choice. Great choice. It's funny. I, I haven't, I've only asked a few people these, this is a fairly new lightning round, but, uh, that has, one hasn't come across yet. <laughs> and I'm a huge star Wars fan. So I'm, good call. Like, I'm yeah. a moderate, I like star Wars. I don't have anything against it, but I'm not like a giant a star fan? Wars. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and last one. Uh, so what is one show that you love, but that you don't think you'd ever want to be in like something that you like to admire from afar? Like for me, it's Cats the musical. I'm never oh, that be, kind yeah. of show. I was thinking like TV show. Oh, that too. Yeah. I don't know. Like a Christmas Carol. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. I get it's that. like I respect. I respect that. Yeah. But like, I don't. I don't need to be in yeah. it. <laughs> and it's one. I guess like in uh, in Edmonton and also with like the like that kind of talking about at the very beginning going to those things annually. It's like mm-hmm. it's got such an ingrained part of like it's such a tradition here for sure. And in different yes. places. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, that was a wonderful lightning round. That was pretty lightning. I thought that was, yeah, that was I tried. I tried. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right. So I'll just uh, turn this off and then we'll finish up the interview. Okay. Sounds good.